So what what is going on in our country where, you know, I can go back in my news career 10 years ago <clears throat> and look at all the hate crimes against the Jewish community in the place I lived in Oregon and see how the community rallied around those people um, in support uh, to stop them. And now it seems that we are living in an era where um, it's okay to hate the Jewish community again. And I, I, I put out a cry, I'm trying to find someone who, who is a Jew uh, to come on my show and talk with me. <clears throat> I put a little blurb on Facebook and a ton of people from Oregon came on and it was typical response. Um, <clears throat> you know, um, they're just where the country is. They're a reflection of where, not the country, they're a reflection of where college students who aren't doing their homework are are at this point. And I don't know how people rationalize that kind of hate. I don't get it. Um, they see it as support for Palestine, but in supporting Palestine, what they're doing is supporting the actions of Hamas. And who started this whole thing? Hamas, by killing Jews. And now all of a sudden it's being blamed on the Jews. Doesn't that sound like, you know, back in the days of Hitler? The same thing, blame it on the Jews. And they don't even see it. This would be so unacceptable five years ago. Totally unacceptable. <clears throat> and now for some reason, for some, uh, this is okay. And they're going on college campuses. And a lot of it is ignorance because they don't understand when the, the sayings and the chants that they're doing are anti-Semitic, but they don't see that. So if they don't see it, it can't be true. But it is true. <clears throat> the only thing that keeps my brain sane is I know that the truth is coming. And more people out there, um, I'm doing lives and stuff on other broadcast channels, and I'm seeing people are fed up. And so if, if your days are numbered... Um, if you're on the wrong side and it's coming to a head and things are going to change and that's, you got to put your hope in, in truth, um, and in God's word. And if you don't believe in God's word, well, that's your problem. Um, anyway, it's crazy, just absolutely insane, but don't get like I do sometimes wrapped up in the insanity because then you can get insane as well. <laughs> and we don't need more insane people. That is one thing we do not need.